Hello and welcome to the Bull and Bear Invest channel. Today it was Wednesday the 10th of February 2021 and we're going to be looking into a company called Tertiary Minerals PLC. Tertiary Minerals was established on the 3rd of August 1999 and is a mineral exploration and development company based in Macclesfield, England and are dedicated to building and developing a project portfolio consisting of precious metals, base metals and industrial minerals in Northern Europe and the United States of America, specifically Nevada. Tertiary Minerals appeared on our radar shortly after the appointment of Dr. Mike Armitage. He's been appointed as an independent non-executive director of the company effective from the 28th of January 2021. Dr. Mike Armitage will be able to assist Tertiary Minerals in exploring their projects further with his 35 years of mining industry. Throughout this short video, you will hear the terms claims staked or stake in a claim. Stake in a claim is required by US federal law and it specifies that claim boundaries must be distinctly and clearly marked to be easily identifiable. Most state laws require obvious and substantial monuments for all types of claims. Effectively, you're marking the corners of your claim so that others know exactly where your claim is and not to mine on that land. Tertiary Minerals Pyramid Project concentrates on gold and silver extraction. The site currently has nine patented claims under 20 year lease with purchase options and 25 unpatented claims. Surface sampling returned results of up to 7.27 grams per tonne of gold and averaged at 1.3 grams per tonne of gold. A 750 meter open ended anomaly has been identified in the gold, mercury and arsenic soil. This is known as the Western Line. Drill results from the 1980s return results of 17.5 grams per tonne of gold. Initial drill testing has been completed at this site and has returned results of up to 2.01 grams per tonne of gold, confirming the presence of gold in the soil. Following the soil sampling results announced early 2021, two new untested soil anomalies have been identified that these prove anomalous for silver and gold. The North Roof anomaly at 800 metres in length return results of 1.63 grams per tonne of gold and 207 grams per tonne of silver. The Western Line anomaly is now believed to be 1,000 metres in length with possible extensions to the Western Line in the southeasterly direction. The Western Splay anomaly is 550 metres in length and open to the south. This has returned results of 177 parts per billion of gold and 3 parts per million of silver. The Paymaster Polymetallic Project in Nevada has 19 claims state. This claim is showing results for silver, copper, zinc, cobalt and lead. Prospecting has identified two prospects for further investigation. The east slope with chip samples returning results of up to 2 metres of 15.8% zinc and 95 grams per tonne of silver and a 600 metre long zinc soil anomaly. The valley prospects contain large scarn outcrops, one of which measures 350 metres long and 8 metres wide. Waste material from a previous mining expedition returned results of up to 11.8% zinc and lead, and 180 grams per tonne of silver. The Pegleg Polymetallic Project in Nevada will potentially be mining silver, copper, lead and zinc. They currently have four claims staked, and they have identified the primary target being exposed scar mineralization. Waste samples from old workings returned results of 181 grams per tonne of silver, 3.9% copper, 10.1% lead, and 1.2% zinc. Four trenches have since been excavated to test the outcrop mineralization at this site. The Silver and Gold Mount Tobin project in Nevada currently has four claims to state. Within these claims contains identified large silver geochemical anomalies. The preliminary sampling has returned results of up to 101 grams per tonne of silver. Mineralization is open to the north and south, structurally controlled and spatially related to the dike intrusion. A drone magnetic survey and a soil sampling program have been completed. This survey comprised of a 23.6 line kilometre of flying on traverses 50 metres apart and 304 soil samples were collected on a 40 metre by 100 metre grid. These results are awaited. The Copper Lucky Project in Nevada has 13 claims state. An exposed gossan in the old workings suggests the existence of subsurface ore deposits. Previous test results show 20.4 metres at 0.65% copper 
at a depth of 77.7 metres. These results were found at the end of the drill hole. Further drill holes have since been planned to investigate at depth the copper mineralisation. The Brunton Pass Copper Project has 24 claims state, and widespread copper mineralisation is evident over a 1km by 0.6km area. Earlier samples returned results of 6.91% copper, including rock chip samples grading 1.36% copper over 366 metres. Further exploration is ongoing and a drone magnetic survey has since been commissioned. Tertiary Minerals Storeman project in Sweden is extracting floor spar, otherwise known Tertiary Minerals also have two royalty interest projects in Finland, Karaselka and Kiakaroma. Tertiary Minerals received £100,000 initial consideration paid by Orion, £15,000 in cash and £85,000 in Orion shares which were sold in November 2017, resulting in a profit of £31,264. Tertiary retains several royalty interests in the projects, including the net smelter returns royalty of 2% of all future gold production from either property. Tertiary Minerals has undertaken exploration at Kalkinen in Finland, which has resulted in the identification of an area of outcropping sulphide mineralization where the chip sampling returns results which include 2.3% copper with 3.4 grams per tonne of palladium, platinum, gold, over 0.75 metres and 0.3% copper with 3.2% gold per tonne of palladium platinum gold over 1 metre. Tertiary Minerals has sold its data and other intellectual property to unlisted explorer Element 46 Limited for the Kalkinen Platinum Group Metal Prospect in Finland. Under its agreement with E46, E46 has granted Tertiary 2% net smelter return royalty interest in the area of E46's license reservation application covering the Kalkinen Prospect. The Rosendahl project in Finland was mining tantalum. Tertiary Minerals has carried out a number of drilling programs at Rosendahl and CSMA Consultants Limited completed an initial financial evaluation in 2002 as part of the preliminary feasibility study. And the site is estimated to contain 1.05 million tonnes at a mean grade of 255 parts per million of tantalum pentoxide. The Rosendahl pegmatite is currently open at depth and contains a number of higher grade zones with potential to meet future requirements for a commercial operation. However, the exploration license for the project expired in October 2015 and the company has applied for a renewal of the license. If the company is unsuccessful in finding a suitable partner or buyer to progress the project, it is unlikely the renewal will be granted. Taking a look at the movement of the share price over the last year, we can see an initial spike of 0.765 on the 18th of February 2020. This was closely followed by the announcement of the lockdown following COVID-19 restrictions, and we saw the year low of 0.18 on the 1st of April 2020. Since then, the share price has found an average between 0.2 and 0.3. Until recently, today we finished on 0.5 at the 10th of February 2021, and with all the developments and projects ongoing, we do hope that this share price continues to increase. So let's provide you a quick summary of what to expect in the near future. A trench in is planned at the Pyramid Project to determine the significance of the anomalies and mark drill targets. The infill soil sampling results are awaited for the Paymaster project. The drill hole is planned at the Lucky project to extend at depth the copper mineralisation. Further exploration is ongoing and drone magnetic surveys have been commissioned at the Brunton Pass project, and the drone magnetic survey results are expected imminently for Mount Tobin. The appeal process is also ongoing with the Swedish government following the revocation of the 25-year mine permit that was awarded to Storman Project in 2016. This was revoked due to changes in Swedish law. If you found the content in this video useful, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Bull and Bear Invest Chatter.